Aloha. Welcome to Keys to Success, which is live on the Think Tech live streaming network series weekly on Thursdays at 11 a.m. We are your hosts. My name is Danelia, D-A-N-E-L-I-A. And I'm the other half of the duo, John Newman. Welcome to today's show. The goal of this show is to provide professional and personal development tools and profound insights on how to achieve success in life, career and or business. Terry Werner Hobbs, DSWA accredited coach and certified trainer and founder of Terry Werner International and The We, was our guest on our last show and her words of wisdom can be accessed on Newman Consulting Services website, newmanconsultingservices.com or our landing page, danelia.org. These last couple of weeks have been an extremely stressful time for many in our country. Individuals have been very passionate about their views regarding our political climate and have struggled with emotional challenges as a result. The election is over. We have a new president-elect, Donald Trump. Despite all odds, he won the election. Now, what can we learn from this experience and how can we apply it to our personal journey? Well, what we learned is to always keep the faith with regards to our own personal goals. Keep the focus, persevere, and never give up. And with that, we would like to introduce our guests on today's show. Our Keys to Success theme today is turning obstacles into opportunities. Joining us today as our honored guest is Mrs. Marina Keaton, CEO, owner, and founder of Your Connection Hawaii. Mahalo for joining us today. Aloha. Thank you very much. For Hi, Marina. Marina. All right. Yes, hey. it's lovely to have you Glad on the show. Glad to have you here. Very okay. Nice. Thank you very much. Marina, if you would please share with our guests uh, and our viewers uh, a little about your connection Hawaii and what prompted you to start mm -hmm. your business? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, your connection Hawaii is uh, luggage storage. Right. <laughs> and every time when I say people, they ask me what business I have, I have luggage storage, they everybody be like, what is that? <laughs> <laughs> but what is that is the, it's a help to our visitors on the island mm -hmm. because when they come to Hawaii, they, there is no really luggage storage which provided by hotels. Um, most hotels don't hold the bags. So true. Yeah, when people go to the other islands, and this is our uh, kind of like center of the universe. Everybody, right. everybody comes here, yes. who travel around the world, they come here, they bring the bags. And then when they go to other islands, they don't want to bring all the stuff with them. Mm -hmm. So they look for the luggage storage, mm -hmm. and there is no many luggage storages now. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh. So you say, <coughs> say if I checked out of a hotel and my flight was 12 o'clock, that night, and I checked out at eight in the morning. No, m most hotels are, at that situation hold the bags. They will hold, they the, hold bag. the bags. So if but I wanted to go to a different island, if you and go not take to a different bags, island, then oh. they will not hold the bag for oh. you. <laughs> so you will hold the bags if I wanted to go to Maui for a exactly, couple of days exactly. or a big island and come exactly. back. Exactly. Or even people between like mainland and um, and Asia and um, oh. even even those people. Sometimes the people ask for like one month holding the bags, right. so, oh. or sometimes a oh. year. <laughs> What a yeah, brilliant right? business idea. <laughs> wow. That's a brilliant oh, business thank idea, you, thank really. You, thank I mean, you. we've been in that situation ourselves. <laughs> <laughs> See, that's, so, yeah. that's exactly where the idea right. came from because I was in the situation. Yeah. Mm. Um, I went to f uh, France and. Mm -hmm. um, um, uh, in Europe, and on my 40th birthday, and uh -huh. I wanted to meet, uh, the plan was to meet my friends uh -huh. from Russia, and they couldn't come. Uh -huh. So I stuck by myself, and I carried all this uh, camping equipment, because we were going to rent the car, and go camping, and have fun, and uh -huh. it was 15 days, yes. and nobody came. <laughs> right. Whoa. So I did not know what to do. I decided to go to Montpellier, and um, just take a bus to the, to the sea. Uh -huh. And I came to Montpellier, and I didn't have um, um, I didn't have um, uh, cash to uh -huh. pay for the bus, uh -huh. so I had to carry my stuff. Yeah, and every and I had only dollars. I didn't have euros. And every time when I say people I have do dollars only, they're like, no, no taxi takes me, no buses takes me, nobody right. takes me. So I carry all the stuff. Right. But my plan was that I'm arriving in Montpellier, I put my bags into the lockers. And I go free, uh -huh. and the locusts were locked completely from anybody because of the some kind of situation there. Right. Mm -hmm. So instead of spending my 40th birthday um, on the sea, like I always do my birthdays. 40th birthday. Uh, yeah. <laughs> 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 so I you were I was dragging the bags <laughs> all over Montpellier. <laughs> oh wow! <laughs> Nobody wanted to feed me because every time when I when I 
take out my dollars. They're like, no, 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 no. Right, right. <laughs> so it was a disaster, disaster trip. And um, we opened, um, me and my business partner, my ex-business partner, uh, we opened first luggage storage uh, 2008. Uh -huh. Okay. And, um, and what actually happened, one time I was just talking about uh, stories, talking stories, and the thought came, somebody, some guest was with us, and he said, you know, after 9-11, everything was shut down. Mm -hmm. No lock, locus in the airport, no, no port, nowhere. Right. Mm -hmm. And I was like, oh, okay. So I remember my story, yes. <laughs> dragging the bags, and I was like, oh, I think we should help people. Yeah, that's oh. great. And that's, that's how it started eight years ago. Yeah. Then um, that first company, the first business, uh, had a sad story, uh -huh. <laughs> right. and I, w I, I basically lost mm -hmm. that, uh, that chance to continue. Uh -huh. It took me down for many years, kind uh -huh. of. I was very upset. I did not know what to do. Uh -huh. and, um, but then, a year ago, I was like, okay. I should do it myself. Mm. Right. And I opened it and I did not expect how fast it just started growing. Oh, absolutely. It's just like, yeah. bam. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So you, talk, well, you talked a little bit about your, um, I mean, I detected an accent, by the way. I mean, yeah. you know, oh, yeah, yeah. my accent too from Australia. Yeah. You are from originally. Russia. Russia, Russia originally. Russia. Yeah, yeah, so, yeah. you know, you talked a little bit just now about the fact that um, you had challenges through the first one that you started and you mm -hmm. were down and you somehow you came back. Ha what mm -hmm. happened in that period? How did you mentally get through oh. the challenge of a, of a partnership breakup, of a real losing a business? Yeah. I mean, yeah. that's that can be disaster. I mean, that can yeah. be mentally it, it, draining for very, anybody. Very, very much so. And um, um, actually, th those years from that crush in the business mm -hmm. time to the time now, that's why my personal growth all okay. kind of picking picking up. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, I always um, I always um, uh, Im was improving myself. I always wanted to live life and get more experience from life and more uh, more happiness from life. Yeah, mm -hmm. and uh, but that time was very uh, this time was very important point for me mm -hmm. because um, I start like from quantity to quality. Yeah, right. all wow. those studies I did, all the spiritual studies I did, all mm -hmm. my life they kind of came to the point of realization. Mm -hmm. And realization was that everything in my life depends only on me. Mm. I, so cannot, I, cannot, um, I cannot count on anybody. I can count, it's not yeah. the right word. I cannot hope that somebody will come and help me. Right. Mm -hmm. Because um, what it does to a person when you hope that somebody will help you in any way, in the money, friendship, moving the furniture, <laughs> or yeah. doing anything. Um, what happens then, you minimize your own powers. Mm -hmm. And when you minimize your own powers, then when it's come to that point when you, oh, please, I need this. Even yeah. if you don't say it, it's in your vibrations. Yes. Mm -hmm. But when you realize it's all you, yeah. and actually I had kind of tough point over there when I realize it's all me mm -hmm. and I have to be strong mm -hmm. and I have to push through and I have to do it. That was a kind of like, oh, what am I going to do now? This is right. completely unfamiliar territory for me. Right. I, I need to change everything in my life. Right. I need to, but first of all, I have to change my thoughts. That's right. <coughs> and that thought came to me that I have to be free of hope that somebody will help me. Right. Wonderful. It took me maybe like three, four months when I found myself feeling very comfortable mm -hmm. to do, to uh, rely only on myself mm -hmm. and do things myself. Mm -hmm. yeah. What Danilia and I teach in our, in our school, we have a uh, vocational license school mm -hmm. and we teach individuals to, to go out and, and uh, start their own businesses mm -hmm. or do whatever mm -hmm. they need to do in their lives to be successful. Uh, it's a simple, simple formula. Be who you need to be, do what you need to do, and 90% of the time, you'll have what you need to have. But you have to do it. And you can't control anybody but yourself. Exactly. And what you said was so profound. It, you know. It's really <laughs> profound. And you know, when you grab that mirror and put it up in front of you, and what you see is you, and that you are the one responsible for where you are. Yeah, yeah. That's exactly. like really hard to digest initially because, you know, who else can you blame? Yeah, you cannot blame anybody that's else. Exactly. That's exactly. That's a great, great point. Yeah. That's a great point. And that's. Yeah. Um, it kind of opens another thought um, and my mem memories that um, when I
when I came to this country, um, I had difficult times. I had mm -hmm. difficult times because, first of all, because um, the family I joined to was not supportive. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and those days it was 1994. Uh, the marriage between Russian and American person not a good one. was not. Yeah. It was not. Uh, yeah, people yeah, were. Let me cut you off here a minute okay. before you go too far, because that's the next question I was going to. Oh. <laughs> I was going to ask you, uh, once you arrived in the United States, mm -hmm. you know, how was it different mm -hmm. than what you expected mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Your, your, your arrival to be in the United States to be? Mm -hmm. And it's going into exactly what you're talking about now. So mm -hmm. go ahead with that. Yeah, so, um, yeah, so a lot of media, a lot mm -hmm. of information in media was about... Um, uh, Russian women coming to America for green card to marry American oh. men, oh. and that was so not true. Right. <laughs> That's right. Right. But I knew that. Yeah, my husband knew that. Mm -hmm. However, everybody around us yeah. was having doubts about it, and of course, people were talking, and it put a lot of pressure on our family. Mm -hmm. And basically, we as a family did not um, make it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. However, we made with our beautiful son. Mm -hmm. oh, He's 20 wow. years old. He's fabulous, fabulous That man. was the purpose yeah. of your marriage, you know. That was the purpose of your child. <laughs> yeah. That's right. Yeah. And what, what we teach is that you cannot listen to the peanut gallery. Mm -hmm. that's, that's what we call it, the, the outside right. influence. That's you know? right. It's that's because right. it's what's in your heart and yeah. what's in your significant other's heart and what you want out of life. I the, mean, you got to be what you need to be and not listen to the other people. That's, uh, that's absolutely right. And this is uh, one of the things I learned. Mm -hmm. I learned from that experience. And I, had, I, had, I did a lot in my life. Mm -hmm. And I had, um, I had a lot of experiences. And I had a lot of negative experiences. Mm -hmm. I mean, like, now I'm not this person anymore, but before it was all about emotions. It was all about somebody said something, mm -hmm. somebody, somebody, you know, pushed yes. you down, the dog, dog barked on me, you know, yes, somebody yes, pushed yes. somebody, my mom, I'm all like, oh, <laughs> like this. And, and, and that's what I learned to do. I yeah. learned to do not to do it. <laughs> right, right, and not right. to react, but not to respond. Uh, right. Respond, exactly. And, mm -hmm. the, and um, what I wanted to say about um, for, forgiveness, yes, yeah. that um, people in my life who, um, I, I should say maybe like 95% of my life before my turning point was mm -hmm. negative. Mm -hmm. And I realized that it's all me. That's I so brought that 95% into my life yeah. because the way I thought, the, wo the way I thought about myself, the way I felt about myself. Right. That's a very, very important point. So let me, sorry to interrupt, because this is such great conversation. We're going to take a short break. This is Keys to Success on the Think Tech live streaming network series. We're talking with Marina Keaton, CEO, owner of Your Connection Hawaii, regarding our Keys to Success theme today, turning obstacles into opportunities. My name is Danelia, D-A-N-E-L-I-A. And I'm the other half of the duo, John Newman. So stay tuned to more Keys to Success. We'll be back in a minute. Hello, this is Martin Despang. I want to get you get excited about my new show, which is Humane Architecture for Hawaii and Beyond. We're going to broadcast on Tuesdays, 5 p.m. here on uh, Think Tech Hawaii. Looking to energize your Friday afternoon? Tune in to Stand the Energy Man at 12 noon. Aloha Friday here on Think Tech Hawaii. I'm Ethan Allen, host of Likeable Science here on Think Tech Hawaii. Every Friday afternoon at 2 p.m., you'll have a chance to come and listen and learn from scientists around the world. Scientists who talk about their work in meaningful, easy to understand ways. And you'll come to appreciate science as a wonderful way of thinking, way of knowing about the world. You'll learn interesting facts, interesting ideas. You'll be stimulated to think more. Please come join us every Friday afternoon at 2 p.m. here on Think Tech Hawaii for a likable science with me, your host, Ethan Allen. I'm jet lagging. Welcome back. This is Keys to Success on the Think Tech live streaming network series. We encourage you to call our hotline at 415-871-2474 to join our conversation or tweet us at ThinkTechHI if you have any questions or comments. 
We've been talking with Marina Keaton, CEO of Your Connection Hawaii, regarding our Keys to Success theme today, turning obstacles into opportunities. My name is Danelia, D-A-N-E-L-I-A. And I'm the other half of the duo, John Newman. Welcome back to the show. And we'll get right back into it because we had to break off and you were saying something very profound. You were talking about <laughs> the changes in your life yeah. and how your attitude and your mental thought change your life. That's Can right. Can you that's expand right. on that yeah, a little bit it more, was, please? Um, um, one of the things which brought me to the change it was forgiveness. It's mm. for, yes. forgive, forgive, forgiveness of everything and everybody, would, whoever did anything bad to me and even the... Even those uh, men who hurt me a lot when I was 5 and 12 mm -hmm. and 17, mm -hmm. that was a very difficult forgiveness yes. and a lot of um, <coughs> uh, hurt there. Yes. However, it's all in the past. And for me now, it's even very difficult to, to, to see that as, um, as a problem because mm -hmm. I take it now uh, like... Um, it was my opportunities to grow mm -hmm. because every time when something negative happened, especially when it's really something deep negative happened, yes. but hurt me a lot, that was the most significant time in my life yes. because it pushed me to grow more, to progress more in my, in my thoughts, mm -hmm. in my feelings, and most is um, to see each person playing different role yes. in the world mm -hmm. uh -huh. and whatever vibrations whatever thoughts and feelings I have I attract those people yes. so when I realize that I start changing my thoughts mm -hmm. feelings which changes my vibration mm -hmm. and at this time it's already probably like a year when my life is completely different yes. that's very very powerful <laughs> look you've, you brought us into your life yeah, that's, <laughs> right. that's, that's right, right. <laughs> okay now you you have been giving from the beginning. I mean, I want to let our viewers know that. And you had an experience that most people will never have. <laughs> let me see here. You were on a team that went up to Mount Everest in 1994, was it? Yes, yes. That you, you were on a team to go up and clean up Mount Everest. Can yeah. you share with our viewers about yeah, that? That yeah. sounds very challenging. I, I really did not climb Everest. I was in a clean-up expedition. Mm -hmm. And the reason I didn't, uh, didn't go though, because those days it was sixty thousand dollars. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> it costs that much just to climb it. Yeah, oh. yeah. It's two months. It takes two months wow. to do it. Wow. You always go up and down, up and down, up and down. And mm -hmm. uh, uh, people who work there, they were bringing that, you know, junk. Right. Okay. <laughs> and um, the difficult part of it was, I was I was with my ex-husband at this time there, and he did climb. He did. Mm -hmm. okay. uh, wow. I was in his support team, so okay. to say. Right. <laughs> All right. And um, it was difficult in terms of, um, like, there is nothing there, yeah? There is, yes. there is, there is no obstruction, no TV, no right. phones, nothing, nothing. And it's mm -hmm. only you and the glacier. And the environment. Oh. That's right. That's it. Yeah. And everybody yes. else who is in the team, focusing on what they're doing. Right. Mm -hmm. So when we were going there, uh, prior to when we went there, we were talking about that, how, what we're going to talk about, what we're going to do. Mm -hmm. But when we went there, I understood that everybody by themselves, yes. you know, mm -hmm. if the, the focus is so har harsh there. Right. And um, what helped me to actually to survive those two months there, because it's still very, it's a high altitude. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the base camp was on almost like 5,000 meters. Wow. And stay for two months in 5,000 meters was very difficult. And yes. plus, I couldn't speak English very yeah. well. Right. <laughs> and you had to be on oxygen some of that time? No, no, no. The okay. oxygen people take only when they go higher. I go okay. higher. Yeah. But what prepared me for that, it's what was in my life before when I was climbing the mountains because I was an English teacher in the mountains mm -hmm. and I was, um, uh, I was, I was the owner of the climbing, um, climbing company in, in the mountains too. Oh, okay. And I like to go by myself, climb without roads, climb and climb mountains. Uh -huh. And those times when I fall down in crevasse and I was you there. You fell in a crevasse? Yeah, and I was there wow. in my completely wet shoes and wow. I was in bikini because it was hot day. <laughs> <Jeez>. <laughs> and it was like between oh, wow. survive or, or, or freeze yes, the Yes, right. right. Or oh, the, the time when I was going down uh, without trail and it was grass and the grass was like when it's long grass on a steep slope, it's, it's like worse than ice. Yes. Mm -hmm. And I had to hold grass and it was sharp and then yeah. at the end like one hour later all my 
hands were bloody and wow. and then I met aliens in the, in the mountains too. That was a <laughs> very scary <laughs> thing too. <laughs> I don't know if we're going to go off in there. Hey, hey, we better get you back on track because you're scaring me. Ha Halloween is over, okay? All right. So let's just, just let me ask you, you know, your turning point. You shared a little about that, you know. Mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. What do you attribute your turning point in your, in your, in your life or in your okay. business? Okay. Yeah, turning point um, was the point, um, not only realization, what I just said, but it was um, um, when my... When I was standing one time on the sun, Sunrise Beach, and um, a thought came to me, and the thought said to me, you were, I was looking for freedom, happiness, and love all over the world. Whoa. And, I, and I, did, yeah. I did so many it's things. Powerful. I met so many people. Mm -hmm. And what I, where I found it, it was inside of myself. Mm -hmm. Thank you. That was really yes. profound moment in my life, and yeah. I was just like, Wow, it's inside of me. Yeah. <laughs> and then I, w I was looking at the water at that time, and I lift my head, and I see I'm standing in the, in the light, sunlight, like mm -hmm. circle of sunlight, and everything else around me, like dark and raining. And, mm -hmm. and then I understood that the nature kind of proven that's, that's yes. true. That's, that's, that, right. that's, that's what it is. So you had an epiphany. I had a big yeah. All right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wonderful. So, John, Wonderful. why don't you ask you a signature question? Okay. Signature? This is a question that we ask all of our guests, so don't get upset. <laughs> all right? We ask all of our guests this. You know, what are your three top success habits? Okay. Uh, I think I should say one first one is a hunger. It's a hunger for progress. It's mm -hmm. a hunger for learning. It's a hunger for living an interesting life, mm -hmm. to be happy. And help others. Oh, right. <laughs> That's That's right. number, one. number one. The second one is not giving up. Okay. If one plan doesn't work, there is another. There is another. There is another plan. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And another pl another another one is focus. Mm -hmm. Focus. Focus on my well-being, mm -hmm. mm -hmm. on my connection to environment, mm -hmm. to people and care, care about people and environment and, uh, and, and give people the help what they need. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's okay. wonderful. That's wonderful. So how do you maintain your daily motivation despite all the obstacles that come up? You know, we all go through yeah. them, right? Yeah. It's, <laughs> it's like a, sometimes it's just overwhelming to people. To, to There's so many obstacles that come up and everything. So how do you mm -hmm. maintain your, your daily, daily motivation mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. to get through those setbacks? Yeah. And so... Um, I kind of raise above them, mm -hmm. and what I mean by that is um, I have been meditating for eight years. Yes. Mm. Now I'm teaching meditation and, and several, I do too. Yeah. I meditate a lot. <laughs> and several, several places yes. on the island, and it is mindfulness meditation. Yes. So I developed the skill of non-emotional attachment mm. to whatever is going on around me. Mm. Mm. So what it means is that if something makes me upset, um, I, first of all, I focus on changing my feeling. Mm -hmm. And when I change my feeling, then I can, from the, that peace in me and, and balance in me, I can look at the situation and ask myself a question, what the situation is teaching me. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So that, that kind mm -hmm. of a motivation of um, to be happy, mm -hmm. motivation of respecting my life, mm -hmm. which were given to me for such a short period of time on mm -hmm. this earth, motivation of other people success stories mm -hmm. and a lot of books I read a lot of books mm -hmm. and and one of the things I do if I kind of go down maybe a little bit uh -huh. I, I go on YouTube mm -hmm. and I listen to certain uh, certain lectures certain people right. and I love voice right. and I love voice successful stories right. <laughs> it makes right. me cry okay. yeah, you wonderful. know this is the thing it's all readily available to us now I mean I do the same thing yeah so, you <laughs> know before I go to bed I make sure that I listen to something positive yeah. you know and mm -hmm. it's just really it push it relaxes you when you go to sleep I've found that I'm sleeping a lot better it makes a big difference yes yeah, yeah. Th that's what they say when you go yeah. to sleep you, you stop the momentum. Yes. And what I, yeah. what I, the, the powerful thing that I hear from you is that you have taken ownership mm -hmm. in your life and you see uh, positivity, uh, vibrations need to be, start from you. 
-hmm. That's right, that's right. Vibration starts from your thoughts, from mm -hmm. the feelings. Mm -hmm. That's why we need to change our thoughts, our, our feelings to, to raise above. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And there's a, there's a quote uh, that I, I can't remember the, the author, but it said, if you, change, if you change your thoughts, you'll change your world. Mm -hmm. Yes, that's right. And, and it's a very life. powerful, profound thing. Mm -hmm. yeah. uh, we tend not to think how often we have negative thoughts. Yes, uh, yes. And that's that's one of the points. When mm -hmm. I start changing, when I start working on it, mm -hmm. I was I was completely surprised that how difficult it is. <laughs> yes, to, it really to is. go to go like they say it's seventeen seconds. Say, yeah. It takes seventeen seconds mm -hmm. to yeah. to gain momentum. Yes. Mm -hmm. And uh, and it's completely absolutely right. It's right. difficult, but now it's really easier. Right. The more you do it, and you know that. Yeah. Yeah. Both of you know yeah. that. I don't remember the number of seconds, but it, th they say that if you hold a negative thought, was it seventeen seconds? Seventeen seconds. 17 yeah. seconds, seconds yeah. Yeah. Then that then goes out in the universe. So we've got to start right. catching That's ourselves. Right. I'm not keeping it for 17 seconds. Get out of here. <laughs> <laughs> right? Because it's just yeah. Really yeah, that, yeah, that's exactly yeah. what I do. If the, that yeah. sort of feeling comes, I'm like, oh, no, 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 you are not going to be there. Right, right. right. absolutely. Okay. So what's the last piece of counsel that you could give, give to people? Okay. Real quick. Okay, very, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. very quick. Um, when the obstacle comes to your life, and you look at the obstacle, and the obstacle, it's like... Um, it's like one side of one piece, uh -huh. and, 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 and there is opportunity on another piece. So by changing your thoughts and your feelings, you come to the neutral position. Uh -huh. From the neutral position, you come to the, um, to the peace and balance. Mm -hmm. And that's a time when you, need, you can only find the correct and right answer for the challenge or the, the, the question you have. Nice. So all of us have to train our mind to be positive. And to move forward. Uh, right. of and move forward. <laughs> okay. Well, we're out of time. We'll have to wrap it up. Marina Keaton's Words of Wisdom with regards to Keys to Success can be found on Newman Consulting Services' webpage, newmanconsultingservices.com, and landing page, danelia.org. Thanks to you, our viewers and listeners, for tuning in. Thanks to our broadcast engineer, Zuri Bender, our floor manager, Nick Sexton, and to Jay Fidel, our executive producer, who puts it all together. Thank you, Marina, okay, for, thank you. All, <laughs> jo for joining us today and all the wonderful thank insights you. that you thank gave you to success in life. Think Tech Keys to Success will be back on Thursday at 11 a.m. We ask that you please tune in again and ask your friends and family to do so as well. My name is Danelia, D-A-N-E-L-I-A. -E and I'm the other half of the duo, John Newman. In closing today, Danelia and I would like to leave a quote which says, you can have anything you want in life if you'll just help enough people get what they want. And that was by Zig Ziglar. Aloha. Aloha. <laughs>